Now I've got a little bit more masking here to do yet this morning before we can spray. Uh, for instance, I've got to do the top of this uh, little box here and also the barbettes on the stern. I got myself a little bit sidetracked this morning and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But while I'm thinking of it, I wanted to mention this, something that I have found. If I was to, to would take my airbrush and spray directly down into, into this uh, uh, 90 degree um, angle here, and I would I would find that right here, like where I'm touching, the spray doesn't seem to want to get in there. However, if I angle my brush just slightly, like this, um, so that the spray is kind of coming in and kind of sort of like you might say bouncing out, it seems to work better. Uh, maybe it's my imagination. Maybe some of you more experienced airbrushers, uh, you might be able to uh, tell me. Do you notice that too? Or if you try to spray into a corner. It sort of bounces out and it forms some sort of a little, I don't know, pressure dome or something right there and it won't allow the spray to hit. Well, like I say, maybe it's just my imagination. Yesterday was a beautiful day here in Winnipeg. And my neighbor was sitting out on his back patio deck and when I saw him we sort of started up a bit of a conversation and I was mentioning to him that it was the first day in a long time that I had not put out carrots for the rabbits. And of course he started kidding around a little bit and he was telling me how he had seen rabbits picketing around my side of my house there where the carrots normally are and they were complaining. They were going to turn me in for rabbit abuse. <laughs> Of course, I know he was only kidding. However, if he wasn't, I wouldn't worry about it because I know that animals can't talk. That only happens in fables or Bible stories. You know, I cannot remember ever going to the store before and only getting one thing. Like this time, it was just carrots. Usually it'll be something like carrots and at least milk or something else. But this time I got just carrots. Never done that before. But I thought, you know what, why not? Now, the store that I just came back from, it is loaded with food. It's not that I couldn't have bought something else. It's got aisle after aisle of stuff that I don't even know what it is. And then aisle after aisle of stuff that tastes good. But it's all fattening. Do I look like I need food? Maybe I should go on a carrot diet with the rabbits. I was sitting at the model table a minute ago doing what I was doing there and I looked out the front window and I thought, my goodness, it sure got dark all of a sudden. So I'm checking the uh, radar weather here right now and there's a real heavy storm moving south of Winnipeg. And uh, right now it's raining here and as I'm speaking I notice my battery backup click in. Now it was only momentary. The lights only flickered, but uh, that's not a good sign. Maybe there's not going to be an episode today. Who knows? I do need the electricity to upload this video. Anyway, let's keep going as best we can here. Well, it is still raining outside. Not as hard as it was. I don't believe that I have used the Steinle Res White before. I can't remember. Uh, okay, it says no thinning necessary. And then a little further down, it tells us to uh, spray between 20 and 30 pounds. So I'm going to go with what the manufacturer suggests, even though other people may have said thin it down a little first. Let's just see what happens. Okay, I've already shaken it up in the paint shaker, but we'll just give it a little quick shake there. I have set the uh, pressure to approximately, oh, I'm guessing about 28 pounds. Now my plan is, let's first get it. Okay, I can see that I'm going to have to be very easy with the trigger here. Okay, get our air going. Oh, hey, I forgot the fan. I've 
got a good memory, but it's a little short. up most of it, at least on this side. I'm going to swing the ship around now and do the same thing on the other side. May not video it though. thick right there but I think it'll cover okay. Um, okay all I need to do now is just lighten that dark area because it's going to be covered with the deck tan later. Um, little, little spot here I didn't get see what's in there. Whoop too thick. Well that'll be okay I'm sure. Guess we'll soon know. Okay
well, spraying any more I don't think is going to make it any better. It's just going to make it thicker. So let's sort of quit while we're ahead. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is uh, clean our airbrush up. And uh, the reason being is I don't like to be leaving this uh, stanol res in there. Uh, it, uh, it, it seems to be a little bit harder to clean up than uh, the Tamiya XF paints. So uh, I'm going to call this video a day even though it's a little bit on the shorter side. Thanks for watching and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow and we'll get, uh, oh no, we won't get our masking tape off. We have to paint the deck tan. Okay, all being well, we'll paint the deck tan.